I'm Eddie with Hilltop Camper and RV, and today I'm going to be showing you a 2022 Jayco Whitehawk 29BH. First off here, we're going to see that it is a vacuum bonded fiberglass wall. What that means is it's very strong. I can pound on that and nothing's going to happen there. Just scroll down the side here, you see Jayco Whitehawk. We're going to have a big long awning that covers most side of the trailer here. You've got two large speakers, outdoor speakers here. Here we're going to have our fridge exhaust. We have our furnace exhaust. Here you'll see that we've got Goodyear brand tires. Above that here, we're going to have a, the hot water tank, which is going to be run off propane or electricity. We'll find the controls for that inside. As we look at the entrance door here, you'll see that we've got the more right steps, which will fold down. They are fully adjustable here. And they're extremely sturdy once you head into the coach here. Before we do that, I'd like to show you a few more features outside. On this model here, the bunk model, we've got an outdoor kitchen where we've got a little sink here. You've got a 110 volt fridge. You've got a little drawer that'll pull out here. And then in the middle of that, it is prepped for an outdoor griddle. It'll come with a post that'll slide there, and it'll have a griddle that'll go there if you get that option. On the back of the RV here, you've got a ladder, which is, gives you access to the roof. So if you ever had to get up there to do any kind of maintenance, or if you had to brush you know, leaves off the top, you could do that. You'll also notice that you've got a rear access door underneath that bottom bunk, which you'll see on the inside. All right, let's take a look inside. 29BH Whitehawk has double bunks in the back here. These are both rated at 600 pounds a piece. I point that up because most manufacturers are half that. So two full grown adults should have no problem sleeping on these bunks. The bottom bunk here, as we kind of spoke on the outside, there's a, an access door. This is what happens is this will flip up, it'll lock into place, and you've got tie downs on the floor there for bicycles or any bigger uh, deals there. As we look to the, right next to this, you're gonna find the bathroom, where we're gonna have a porcelain foot flush stool. We're gonna have a large shower. You'll also have a medicine cabinet and a sink. In the kitchen here, we're gonna find a large counter space here. We're gonna find a flip up extension table, which will just give you a little more space here. You've got uh, one sink here that is very large, so washing dishes is gonna be no problem. You've got a, a faucet with an extension there. You've got a pop-up electrical strip with USB ports plugged in there. We're gonna have a, an oven with a flush mount glass top here that will fold over and it'll be act as a backsplash here. We've also got an RV oven. Behind the uh, stove or the oven here, you've got a knife holder that's built in. We've got big drawers here, rated at 75 pounds a piece, all on ball bearing slides, so very easy to operate. You'll notice this color here is kind of a grayish tone. This is what they call the washed gray. Uh, over here, we're going to have, find a, a large U-shaped dinette that will also convert into a bed. This one is equipped with an 8 cubic foot RV style fridge. So this will run off propane or electricity. Freezer here has got a lip built into it. So when things defrost, it is very easy to soak it up so it doesn't make a mess. You also find that this one is equipped with the theater seating, which is going to be reclining chairs with a little storage cubby in the center here. Across from that, you're gonna find a smart TV with the radio. And then you'll also see which now is the standard is gonna be your fireplace, which is about a 5,000 BTU heater there. Next to the fridge, and you'll also find a large pantry. where you have got shelving that's built in and you've got two levels to it. Uh, in the bedroom here, you'll notice right off the bat that it's very bright inside here. The way you can get that is you've got a front automotive grade windshield that lets in some nice natural light. 
Now it is tinted, so you do still get some nice uh, blockage during the day, but it still lets in some nice natural light. On both sides of the bed, you will find closets where you'll have hanging and shelves there. You'll notice that the lights above the bed, you'll find one that you can go white for a bright reading light, or you can do a soft blue for kind of a nighttime reading light. You can switch it to either option on both fixtures there. You will find outlets on both sides of the bed. So if you wanted to plug in a phone or a sleep machine, you can do that. You'll also find USB plugs to plug in anything 12 volt there. This bed is a residential queen size bed. It is 60 by 80, which is the same you'd have, like I said, in your, in your house there. The bed will lift up and you've got storage underneath there and it's got hydraulic struts to support that. And then it just falls down there. In the roof, you're gonna find that you've got ducted air conditioning. In the floor, you'll find that you've got ducted heat. One huge thing too that you'll find in the 29BH in the bedroom is that you've actually got a walk-in closet where you've got hanging storage as well as drawers. In the 29BH Whitehawk, you will find a secondary entrance door. Comes in handy for many things. Uh, one of the biggest things I've found is when it comes time for packing, that you uh, can pack it with the slide out in. All Jayco Whitehawks will come with a rooftop air conditioner that is ducted throughout the whole coach. You'll also find that it's got a nice skylight in the main living area here with a shade to close off any of that sunlight. Behind that now is a standard, is gonna be a rooftop vent with a fan built in so you can pull any air out of the coach to the outside there. Uh, this also brings up one huge thing is this, all Whitehawks will have an arched roof. So it gives you a little more headroom inside the coach. Some of the big exterior options are gonna be the climate shield, which is a standard. That's gonna give you that late fall, early spring. Uh, what it is, it's an enclosed, heated, insulated underbelly. Uh, you will notice that the Jayco comes with the two plus three warranty. That is the best warranty in the industry. You've got two years on all the interior components and you've got three year on the structural components. I wanted to thank you guys for taking a look at this video. This is the 2022 Jayco Whitehawk 29BH. <laughs>